we'd like to fit our NC37 with an autopilot, which is powered by two Volvo Penta engines, each with a Volvo EVC bus connection. This makes installing the Raymarine autopilot system easy because controlling the two Volvo Penta engines requires only the Volvo Easy Connect gateway to be integrated into the existing CTORC NG or NMEA 2000 network. There's no need to install a separate autopilot drive. The first step is to start with the installation of the Raymarine P70RS autopilot control unit. To do this, we make use of an existing hole in the cockpit console which is currently fitted with a cup holder. This is glued in place, so we carefully separate the glue with a sharp Stanley knife and push the holder out of the console from underneath. Use a sharp chisel and a knife to remove the remaining glue. Mark the position of the holes for the Raymarine P70RS by first inserting the control panel and using a thin bit to drill through the holes in the unit and into the console. Use a vacuum cleaner to suck up any dust. We then lightly clean the surface, screw the operating panel tight and fit the rubber knobs and cover frame. The autopilot control panel is easily accessible from the helm seat in this position making it possible to quickly access the controls while operating the vessel. Now the Raymarine P70RS must be connected to the SeaTalk NG or NMEA 2000 network. As this is a small instrument with low power consumption, it draws its power supply from the existing network. So that the autopilot can also control the engines, we need to connect the Volvo EVC gateway to our SeaTalk NG network. Additional Y or adapter cables may be necessary depending on the existing installation. We connect the NMEA 2000 end of the gateway to our network using a micro C to SeaTalk NG adapter cable. In our case, we have a free EVC bus slot and can connect the gateway directly to the existing EVC bus. Now we connect the gateway to our SeaTalk NG network. Next, we need to find a suitable installation location for our Raymarine EV1 core sensor. This should be placed at least one meter away from any large live lines and equipment such as boilers and pumps. Also, make sure that there are no other components such as bus bars or sonar sensors close to where it is to be installed. Our installation location will be on the port side under the guest cabin. We mount the bracket as close to the middle of the boat as possible. Before we insert the sensor, we glue the supplied ceiling ring into the holder. This is used to absorb vibrations. Make sure that the arrow points towards the bow of the vessel when inserting the Raymarine EV1 course sensor. To integrate the sensor into our SeaTalk NG network, we connect a SeaTalk NG drop cable to the connector on the bottom. We then fix the sensor to the bracket using the mounting frame. Next, we connect the SeaTalk NG cable to a new distributor. The distributor is integrated into our network via two backbone cables. To keep the cables neat and tidy, screw take cable tie adhesive plates and affix the cables to them. We'll be showing you how to operate the autopilot in our next video.